Hi everyone. Today I want to talk about some recent developments in the PSP custom firmware scene. Acid Snake has released a new build of um, the Arc custom firmware for PSPs. It also runs on the other PSP family systems as well, but the interesting feature of this release is region free for UMD movies. Now some people think that any PSP can play any PSP movie, but that's not the case. PSP movies were region coded just like DVDs were. So here I have two movies. Uh, this Hitchhiker's Guide is Region 2. It will not play on my Region 1 US PSPs. And this copy of Terminator is Region 1. It will not play on my Japanese PSPs. So I want to just show what happens when I put a movie in that does not match the region coding of the console. So this black PSP unit, this is a PSP 2001 model. So let's go ahead and put my Hitchhiker's Guide in the system. We'll let it spin up. And this is the message you get. The disk cannot be started. The region code is not correct. So this is what happens when you try to play a region locked movie in a console that was sold for a different region. There are six regions in total, but the ones that collectors tend to focus on our region 1 and 2 because that's going to cover all of the US releases, all the Japanese releases, and all the European releases. I do have a region 3 console that won't play any of my movies, at least not until this custom firmware came along, but I don't have any region 3 movies to demonstrate it with. So let's, um, let's switch over to, oh, before I go on, some people are going to say, but in the custom firmware, there's a region setting. And so let's go look at that and see what it really does. So if we go into the recovery menu, this is running the pro version of firmware. And we go to configuration. Let's see, is it in there? Did I miss? I missed. Fake region. So by default, fake region is disabled. And you might say, well, let's set fake region to, um, let's see, what are we setting it to? Let's try Japan because we know Japan is region two, right? So we've got American, we've got Japan. But what happens when you, when you change this? We'll find that it doesn't actually change the region from a UMD movie playback standpoint it only changes which region's icons are shown on the XMB. So now if I go over to the left and I look at the uh, extras, see right now I'm in US mode, so I have digital comics. And if I go into Japanese mode, let's um, go ahead and make sure I set this in the recovery menu one more time. Fake region Japan, okay. So now to apply that, we're gonna reset the VSH. This is the shell, the XMB, if you will. And we still can't play the movie. So what did that really do? Now if I go over to extras, I don't have the American version of the comic reader, I have the Japanese version of the comic reader. X radar and one seg. We never got one seg in the US. Um, that service was not offered here. So now let's show a PSP 
that's running the Arc custom firmware. I've installed Arc on this one. And you'll see I'm running 4.19.10. This feature was introduced in 4.19.9, so you need to be at least 4.19.9 to be able to use this. Now if I go into Arc's recovery menu, and we go all the way to the bottom, UMD region is set to America, um, Japan, default, and Europe. So I'm going to put it on default. So we can show that this system won't play the movie either. I'm going to turn my volume down in case there's like music in the movie that's going to get annoy the uh, copyright police. So the disk. Disk cannot be started. Region code is not correct. Let's do something about that. Back into the recovery menu. Region change, and I will set it to uh, Europe. Japan and Europe, from a region standpoint, are the same thing. Why they have two different options is a mystery people are still trying to solve. Um, so now when we exit, I'm going to open the UMB door until it fully boots the XMB. Otherwise, I may still get a region coding error. OK. Now, just close this. The movie reads. So I will, uh, I'll go ahead and play a little bit of it just so we can see that it does in fact play. Well, they didn't even change the warning text that still says DVD. Here we are, the movie is playing. All right, before we get too far into copyright land, I'm gonna exit out of the movie. And I just wanna show that now that I have this PSP switched to region two, will it play Terminator? Let's see. So Terminator is a region one, and you can see it right there on the disc. So let's try it. interesting, it didn't give me an error code, though. This could not be read. So with the patch applied, we get a slightly different error. Let's go back into recovery. This is an American PSP, so I could set it to default, um, but on my Hong Kong PSP Region 3, I have to set it to American just to read this disc. So we'll try American. Exit.
and now it plays. So that's a little demo of the new region change feature in the Art Custom firmware, which you can use to now play American UMDs on your Japanese import PSP, which is something a lot of people like to do. They're a little cheaper when you import them, and they're generally better taken care of when you import them. Um, so if you uh, like buying import movies or import PSPs, this feature is for you. And it's nice to finally see this um, capability after 19 years now. So that's all for today. Have fun and go watch some movies.